Welcome to Becoming Bucky, where contestants must have the energy, skill, and some serious blue and gold spirit to come out on top. After our auditions, we're down to our final five. For the first round, we partnered with Party Bucks to have a competition with our five finalists. When I first seen it, how it came to me, I didn't think it was gonna be this big. All I gotta do is just be my authentic self, bring my genuine energy. That showed me it's opportunity, it's, it's, it's doors opening. One little action can make a big reaction. So you gotta think about what you bring to the table. You gotta think about how you treat people, and how you can affect another person's day. During the silent disco night, in my mind, I was nervous, but I wasn't nervous because I seen how the crowd reacted. Certain things that come to you naturally, you should, you should express it to the world. That was a lot of energy. Let's see who's going to match that. My friend invited me to gymnastics. I was actually on a pretty dark part of my life. My friend Luke calls me and he says, hey, you want to go to gymnastics? Like, sure. Because I just taught myself on grass, I would do it over and over and over. I had so many clips of just failing, falling, and falling. But um, I just never stopped every day. When I was about to perform for the silent disco, yeah, I got in there and it was just pitch black with my mask. I could not see anything. So I was like, well, I guess I just have to do flips blindfolded. It's a huge learning experience to overcome every anxiety that you have. Every anxiety experience that you overcome, you learn a little bit about yourself. You gain more experience to conquer fear and you become better. So already it's gotten me out of my comfort zone. Yeah, I definitely couldn't do that. But let's see if our next contestant can. I absolutely have always loved making people laugh and uh, getting people to have a good time. The way that I learned how to do a death drop was my mom was constantly watching Dance Moms, you know Dance Moms? And I was like, I can do that. <laughs> I hope that, that my energy shines through and I hope that um, my, my fun-loving personality shines through. This sounds so narcissistic. I was happy and at the same time I was like, can I do it? I said I'll have to try. It wasn't what I was expecting about this interview and the rest, but anytime I'm dancing, there's a kind of feeling that I get. I'll be like, okay, because I usually smile and I close my eyes when I'm dancing. So I don't see people around. So I don't get scared. So I just let the music take control of my body. Actually, there is a saying what a guy can do, a girl can do better. So I'm just hoping that I can find myself and also do better than other guys, even though <laughs> I don't have to dance very well, but I'm sure I can actually do this. It's so interesting, the different vibes we get from each contestant. Let's see another one. As soon as I saw this opportunity, I realized that it really was something that I wanted to do. And I've always been very self-conscious about myself. Something about putting on a mask and being able to just be myself and, and not what I look like on the exterior, it, it, it's a complete transformation because people aren't judging me based on what I look like. So it's, it's based on who I am and how I act. You can do anything when even when you struggle with anxiety and depression and things like that so it, it just you have to push yourself and yeah you know, that's that's kind of what i'm doing here so yeah after hearing all about the dance party i was really bummed that i couldn't make it that night because i had work
next time on Becoming Bucky. You are not Bucky. <laughs>